Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? <laughs> I'm always halfway through a conversation, and then I realise the um, the the theme tune is a lot quicker than I anticipate. I was just reprimanding my staff mem staff mem staff member. <laughs> yes, I have a snake now in the in, on, on the wages. <laughs> God, I, do you know what? I haven't even. Sherry, There's no you? Prosecco or Sherry. Hello, Rob. Hello, Liz. How are you? Last class of the year. It's the most wonderful class of the year. It's not. Um, <coughs> I hope you're doing all right anyway. And, um, yeah, you know. You, you're having... Uh, not a stressful week. Try not to be stressful. Things are stress. Hello, Sue. Oh no, it's dark, isn't it? Dark and damp and dull and Gloomy. festive. Mm -hmm. It's very not festive. I'll put your bird song on, Liz, because I know you like that. Oh, Jackie's earrings. got gingerbread man earrings and uh, a picture of a dog in um, elf, suit. elf suit with a pom pom on his hat, and it says "Express yourself." No, I. It says "Express your elf." Oh, express your elf. Is there? She says there's a press announcement later. Oh, not another one. About me. You mean, uh, or is this some? Um, another one. Uh, another uh, 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 dear Prime Minister. Good job I put some more fridge chips in the freezer then. <laughs> I've not seen that announced. I, I. Liz, I I think we'll be up, we'll be shifting up to um, tier, four. tier four. Hello, Rosemary. I think we'll be up to tier four. Hundred and seventy four percent case rises in Oxfordshire in the last seven days, flanked by tier three at the front and at the top, and tier four at the rear of our county. Um, I won't spread the rumours as to where it's thought. Um, the spread is occurring, but uh, and if you live in um, but Warwickshire, the the Rugby and Sheldon areas were particularly kicked out by Bury Mayors in particular with oh, really? virulence. So now I can't find anything about a press announcement. Does it say what time? It is all about me, Sue. I'm going to say what's Boris going to say about me today. I wouldn't be surprised if England is in tier four on Boxing Day, especially because most of the supermarkets have all announced that they're not actually opening on on. Uh... Oh, the BBC have cancelled their afternoon movie because of it. What? That's appalling. Which movie was it? I nearly said something that would have been quite political, but I won't. trying to cl steer clear of politics it's very hard at the moment we've had like since 2016 nearly everything's been political it's been really difficult we are allowed to be British now yes <laughs> oh well if, if Wallace and Gromit's gone on instead that's fine or, or are you talking about Boris and Gove? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> Never-ending story. <laughs> or is it the Muppets Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> the Muppets Christmas Carol. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Never-ending story. 
Oh, what tier, oh, what tier are we in? Good afternoon, Nan. Well, yes, as long as I'm well, I'll still be here. So just don't come in coughing your germs in my shop and I'll be fine. <laughs> you germ-ridden students. Scrooge. What else? Um, it certainly won't be great expectations, will it? We're not doing a really difficult picture today. I know I say that and then you go, oh, it's really difficult. Well, from the current tier four, which could be a different tier four by this afternoon, who knows? Um, uh, they're thinking of tier five, aren't they? Well, they are, there is a tier five, but mm -hmm. I think that'll be, what is tier five? Just total lockdown? Everyone's dead but schools still open, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do sometimes feel a bit like the musicians on the on the deck of the Titanic <laughs> teaching these classes as the water starts to surround me <laughs> while I've got the fiddle out nearer my God to thee. Hello D, how are you? No Sue. It's a doddle. Compared to steering the country through a pandemic, this is easy. That's why I decided to be an art teacher, not prime minister. It's the same sort of salary. <laughs> <laughs> dragonflies? How have I inspired you to make dragonflies? I had a bluebell, a bluebell. No, what did we just have? A blueberry? Something. Some kind of health bar that was blue or grey, but it's <clears throat> a healthy bar thing. Tier five is just get under your duvet and don't come out till you hear the all clear. Ah, uh, and then tier six is you can only shop in Tesco's on a Wednesday if you call Gary, isn't it? What about the ginger people? Right. I will. I'll wait till ten past just to make sure we're all here. I don't know who's here today or not. Do you know at school? Well, I know Sue and Liz, you'll know. Like, on the last day of term, it's a bit like that today, even though I'm at work tomorrow. Um, well, I've got a bit of boo-boo stuck in my coo, sorry. Um, and it's all a bit manic, and the teacher just says, oh, just play these, just colour in this word search. And then they put... A video on. Do you know what, Liz? The healthy eating is going extremely well. And I feel, and I don't want to speak too soon. There's enough wood in here, so let me touch lots of wood. I'm still not 100%. But I'm much better than I was. Much, much better than I was. And apart from all of the constant anxiety that I've been facing, I do feel I have some sort of reaction i won't say intolerance i'll say sort of reaction to gluten in a mild form but because i've been comfort eating a lot of gluten <laughs> i think that plus my trousers have been extremely tight for a lot longer than i've been letting on um it's not too much information they've asked i'm telling them i'm from the black country this is what we do um and uh so i've cut out all gluten all wheat and um I'm finding it difficult not to snack on biscuits, Liz, at the moment. Um, and I think I'll still be fine with the odd biscuit. I just won't be able to, to trough as much as I have been. I can still eat chocolate, though. Chocolate is on my list. I've been, I've been trotting. <laughs> You've bought your board game. Oh, which board game have you bought? All right, let me... Um, it's not monopoly because that leads to violence it does in your family 
I can't. We, none of us can add up in our family, so it didn't make any difference. We used we to play to Trivial play. Pursuit. I love Trivial Pursuit. No, again, it was too violent. How can you be violent with Trivial Pursuit? It's descended into violence. I had a brother and a sister. Jackie's family's Scottish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Does that explain it? <laughs> they live. They live near rugby. There we go. That should explain it all. way posher than me it's not hard you're busting out all over are you <laughs> risk would be good well no i think i think this year has been a game of risk hasn't it <laughs> no i know i tell you what i have put on weight and i'm not losing any weight yet um but i have got i have i did pick up my um night mouth guard thing and i worked out that it's the, apart from my car it is the most expensive thing that i own however i've worn it for two nights now and um i've woken up with no jaw ache in the mornings but you're right d actually i went i was getting concerned about the dentist because i had a big filling in my wisdom tooth if you remember and and it eased a little bit after that left i was concerned about revisiting the dentist again um with this mouth guard it eased a bit after that and i have decided that we won't be well it's almost impossible anyway um i won't be spending christmas with my sister we're going to do it through alexa i won't say it out loud because if you've got one it'll go off and it'll go sorry um through alexa um a video call um and it'll just be on all day in the living room and um if somebody sits in the room then we'll chat and if they don't then we don't so it'll it'll be quite nice it'll be almost like we're there except i won't be plied with my brother-in-law's home made whiskies and vodkas and stuff instead um so it'll be lonely this christmas all by myself calm it celine huh calm it celine calm it celine <laughs> Right, let me get onto Discord. <sighs> Press the like buttons. Good evening, Chris. A uh, good evening. Good afternoon, Rosemary and Chris. Anna, Anne, hello. How are you? Jolly good. Well, yes, the the mouth guard will stop me eating at night, and the and the um, <laughs> and the trailbacks of lorries will stop me from eating in the day. So actually, I'll, I'm sure I'll lose weight before before New Year. <laughs> right, I've got my little. I know, I know. It was it was weird doing not doing a Monday. I know, I know, it's a shame. Um, you see, if I'd have known when I planned it all that it was all going to change, and, and this has been um, the ongoing course, hasn't it, for this year? We just can't plan from one week to the next, let alone too far ahead. It's been really, really difficult. I imagine does Harry like goose? <laughs> He'd have a go though, I bet, wouldn't he? I think so. I think I I think it's more of a just a, a gentle postponement of everything, isn't it? Which, to be honest, I was saying to Jackie this morning, I'm I've kind of I'm a, I'm at that resigned 
point of the year where an alien could come and blow up half a Banbury and I'd just go, oh, well, and, and have a cup of tea, you know? I'm, I'm just sort of like, oh, what now? What, what, what now? Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly blasé about it all, to be quite honest. Right. I think it happens, doesn't it, after, after, what, has it been nine months? That's been nine months, hasn't it? Over, over nine months, yeah. Babies take less time than this. They take, I mean, ten months. Because it was the end of March, wasn't it, that we um, went into lockdown? Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got my little HB slash 2B pencil. Have you? Yeah, we might use a bit of graphite powder today. So all of you that came in for it. Um, for the sky, absolutely. Yeah, I think that'll be quite good. Um, I'm going to just mark out. It's just below halfway the slope on the left, and it just slightly slopes down to the right. I haven't even got my lamp on today. You can barely see where I've put it. Let me go a little bit heavier. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm used to that, but I'm used to that. Wish me well for a festive a season. It'd be nice if you did pop in today, yeah. tomorrow, today, yeah. <laughs> tomorrow. She's actually already popping today. I don't know if you noticed. She said she noticed. Two thirty. Oh no, Sue's saying three p.m. now, and it's the health secretary. Matt. I nearly forgot I was on a microphone and then said something then. Um, but no. No, yes, I know. I tried to keep it clean. Do you know how hard it is for somebody as opinionated in me to keep everything clean and not controversial? It's really difficult. Um... <coughs> Yeah, I think it is. I'm I'm just so I'm added a bit of Yeah. Graphite powder on me old cotton wool ball that's no longer a ball and he wouldn't tell it was cotton wool. Liz says happy Christmas, Jackie. Happy Christmas to Liz and everybody. Um maybe you should have a little lid. Have you got a lid on it? Yeah, you might not have to cut the top off then. I don't know. Because mine didn't have... Oh, did I? I don't know. I've had this for such a long time. I, can't, I've, I haven't even got the lid anymore. I've just got a lump of blue tack on it. In fact, I don't even think it's blue tack. I think it's a bit of putty rubber. <laughs> I might have to cut a corner from there. I haven't opened one recently. I haven't opened one for such a long time. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. Drawing. It's a drawing class. <laughs> oh, sometimes, sometimes I feel professional. Oh Usually when I'm off camera. Well, I do hope you'll pop. Oh, Sue says happy Christmas as well. Happy Christmas. So I do hope you'll pop in tomorrow. We've already exchanged gifts, so we don't need to do that. Jackie's children will not thank me for what I've bought her. It's not a drum kit. She's got headphones. Hmm? She's got headphones. They've got headphones, it's fine. That's good. They've got YouTube. Thank you, Jackie. Bye bye. See you tomorrow at some point. Don't we gotta finish at three or already? Thank you. Bye bye. 
Bye. I'll do a Facebook post about when I'm feeling professional soon. I wonder if there's, I wonder if there's a, you know, the, on Facebook it'll say, what, what are you feeling? I wonder if there's the one where it says, Barry feels professional. Right, so I've, I've put it on. Now, what I'm going to have to do is, if I just, if you remember last week, I had to put an extra bit of white around... There we go. It makes a difference, you know. I'm doing the whole sky. Um, I was going to sort of um, try and grade it a little bit, but I think I'll grade it with my eraser, my putty eraser, and just dab at the bottom just to make it a bit lighter. I thought I could, but it just didn't seem to want to grade. But I still want it darker than the snow, you see, so. I'll fade it slightly. Yeah, the, I, I find both in watercolour and um, drawing lately, I've, I, I, I seem to be leaning on my work a lot more than I used to. And um, the drawing, it really picks up. You Do you remember the other week I did it? And um, Oh no, I've just seen... Lizzie's pet, we've just got... Oh, I'm trying to scroll down quickly. She's just dropped a graphite powder all over the page. Yours is going to be like a stormy, snowy evening, isn't it? Right, you might do it in reverse. I'll try and I'll try and um, what's it called? Multitask and teach you a different way if you've got a really dark picture. Right, so I'm just going to rub out roughly where the sun is, which is about four fingers up in the middle, and I'm just going to. twist it to get a bit of a circle the graphite powder is lovely um, and it lasts such a long time unless you um, tip it up so I've, I've really rubbed out that and then I'm just going to just dab around the edge to make it a little bit hazy Just a putty rubber. And then dabbed around the edge. All right, Liz, well, use that sheet. If it's in your sketchbook, use that sheet for when we do a darker picture again. In fact, the 6th of January, so keep that page for next, next time because we'll be, um, we'll be doing stuff then.
So obviously now now Jackie has gone. Um, if I get any customers, I'll have to run down and say. It's been a quiet um, a quieter day because of all the rain. Oh, speaking of which, I have a customer in as we speak, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Give you a chance to start and catch up again, Liz.
I'm back. Sorry about that. It was uh, it was a good sale. <laughs> it was a good sale, so I can't I couldn't let it go. Right. So But it normally starts late. I mean the one that was four o'clock was half past four, wasn't it, by the time it cuts through. So I'm gonna just roughly sketch an outline of the tree. Now, when I'm drawing the tree, you don't have to make it exactly like the tree that's in the picture. Um, just something that looks like a tree will do. But don't go near, if you've dabbed the sun and around the edge of the sun, take your branches just up to the outer edge of the dabbing. And don't don't do the middle bit because we'll look at that later. And then that there's one that comes out quite low. And then there's one slightly higher than that that comes out. So if you notice, I'm not actually doing anything that looks like a tree at the moment. It, it's just lots of sticks. I'll switch up to a slightly darker pencil so you can see. Because I'm nice. I know. I appreciate it. And then there's another dark one there. I'm just sort of mapping out where the branches are are going the main branches more than anything i may well do but I'm, i want to work on this one first because it's quite confusing where the because you've got the tree branches behind that are sort of like padding it out aren't they Exactly, if we because I've I've just done my this is like a five B that I'm using, so it stands out a little bit more. But once we've done this one, you can then add paler trees behind it, and it'll work. Yeah, to make it nice and dark, because you want a nice silhouette, but. Whatever you do, stay around, stay stay clear from the the oval bit. I was just checking that I'm still streaming live, I am. Oh, that there, there may be, Anne and Chris, an email coming your way about Monday mornings. But I can't really go into it now. Well, a sort sort of, but it transpires that it it could be real, but it's not. It's not because it's me. Do you know what I mean? It's not me that's doing it. Hopefully, yes. I I'm. It may come from me. I'm just trying to wait and see who who actually wants to send it but I've insisted that um, everybody should be spoken to well sort of I, I'm I, to be honest I'm a little bit um, um, perturbed by the whole situation that I've um, you know I, I'm almost feeling a little bit if I'm 100% honest a bit scapegoatish 
um, for other people's decisions and I don't like it but um, I think uh, I, it will all become clear anyway no idea I mean it, it, it all started yesterday evening and I've not heard anything back um, but I have said I, I really think people need to be discussed because you know it's not it's not my group as such I'm, I'm the tutor for the group on a Monday but I you know I've I've sort of like been a well this is it it's it's that it, it it's it's somebody that hasn't had a much interest in the group for several years but is now a bit more vocal Um, ten of you. There's ten of you on a Monday. Yeah, there's there's ten of you from the original group that are in on a on a Monday. No. She's not been well. No, no, she's not been well. I think it's taken its toll on her, to be honest. No, I think she's had a fall and all sorts. Yeah. But um, basically, if it ends up me having to email the group, I will be just also forwarding the emails that I've been sent to, because I don't think it should... I, I don't, you know, for me, everything has to be handled on a group level because you're all a group, um, all decisions. And, and I just, I personally, that's what I feel. And, uh, and it isn't happening. And uh, I, I kind of insist. Oh, there's a branch that goes straight up here. Look, I've just spotted that because I thought it was the other tree, but actually it's not. It's not the tree behind. Yeah, I think that's kind of, I haven't, it doesn't look as spooky. There's one that sort of like comes down. It's a lovely spooky tree. I often, when I look at trees like this, I wonder what it would look like when it's all, with all its leaves on. You know, how different, how different would it look? Would it look as spooky? I imagine it would because the branches are all twisted and... Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to switch up, once you've, once you've sketched it out, switch up to a 5B or as dark as you want to go. Um, I mean, you could go 9B for this, to be honest. A 9B would work. Um, let me put in my other tin. I am doing... Uh, on the 2nd of January, it'll be from home because I'm not coming in on the, on the 2nd. Um, I am doing a a drawing for beginners class where I basically talk about everything to do with pencils and different techniques. So if you've not really ever fully explored pencils and understand the difference between softnesses of pencils and that kind of thing, you might want to just join join the free demo on the second. I don't know why. Yes, yeah, the first Saturday of the month, so I've I've decided to stick to the second. And then I'm basically going to start um, adding some of the finer branches. It is quite fiddly, and apologies to those of you that hate doing trees, but. This is the time of year where you get the practice. But I'm stopping still around that glow. Oh, back in a second, gonna answer that phone. Yes. 
should come in the post. What's your name? You sh yeah, they should be posted to you. You should have got them by now, but the post is gone a bit wacky. Yes. Yeah, no, d yeah, they'll have been posted, yeah. If, if, if you're in the Banbury area, we'll, we, we, we've been, this week, we've been posting them through people's letterboxes instead. Um, but because you're further away, we will be posting them first class. And usually people are getting them next day or the day after. Um, so yours would have definitely been posted by the 15th or 16th. Um, but, but the post has gone a bit crazy at the moment. But if, if they haven't arrived by... When we were open tomorrow, but then we shut again, and then we're open again, or we'll be in the building, depending on what happens. Um, we'll be here for pick and collect and stuff from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so if they haven't arrived, let us know, and I'll email you a version as well with a with an online code or something so that they can be sent online. Thanks a lot. pleasure it's uh, good good thank you very much it's nice to hear that thank you um so yes keep us posted um but yeah i i i, I can't i can't give you any more information because we haven't got a clue yes yeah it would it it would be by post yeah can i just take your name again Lovely. I mean, we go through that every day, so I will double check. Lovely. Thank you for calling. Thank you, and to you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Da -da -da -da. Right. Yeah, I mean, our local post seems to be doing well, but what I have found is it depends on which tier it's going into. And sometimes um, if it's going into a totally different tier, um, it, it's taking a lot longer than it normally would, which is quite bizarre. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's bizarre. See, my sister posted something to me um, last week. And it's only it only arrived yesterday, so it's taken about six or seven days, and that was recorded, signed for, parcel. So yeah, really bizarre. Because within, within county boundaries, it seems to be doing quite well, but uh, we'll sort him out. We'll sort him out. It's a nice shape tree, and what's good about this tree is you won't be able to tell if it doesn't look like a tree, because it, it will still look like a tree. That kind of goes off the page, doesn't it? There is, there's a tree off the edge. On the edge. I think we might buy plus three. Um, the, 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 no, well, yes, tier three, I'm allowed to be open. Tier four, I'm allowed to be open for click and collect only. 
um, I'm not allowed to be open open I'm sure that's the difference I, I kept all the charts because I, I kept not knowing what was going on so I thought if I can brace myself I can plan and I find my anxiety is much better I can deal with anything as long as I've got a, mi a mini plan yeah retail in tier two is open retail in tier three is open in tier four it's only open for click and collect um, so basically tier four is like the lockdown semi lockdown we had in November so um, yeah it's uh, it'll be different but it doesn't it, it means basically unless we have a full full lockdown um, I'm still open but if if we have a full lockdown um, I can just move everything to home like I did before there's a way around it all isn't there no if you have if you if you're not really going out and you're not doing much um it won't make any difference because supermarkets are open regardless aren't they and and all of that and online is open um but it just means that Jackie and I'll have to do more more deliveries if if that's the case but I I won't be surprised to hear if we go up a tier or two because of um yeah Yeah. I've seen a lot of the clashes at ports and stuff at the at, at, at Dover because the lorry drivers are just wanting to go home, I think. They wouldn't get back for Christmas, but they wanted to get back for New Year. Because some of them have come from the other side of Europe, haven't they, and all of that. So I'm going to do really far. I'm still going to stick with the the, the 9B because it's in my hand. So I'm br br gradually getting finer with my little wiggles. But I'm not doing any branches that are around that sun still. The glow. I nearly started and then I stopped myself because I thought, no, because I've got to teach that in a different way. It is a it is a fiddler's dream, isn't it? This. I'm not a fiddler. It's either a fiddler's dream or a or a or a doodler's nightmare. So yeah, so tomorrow is our last day open. We shut Christmas Day, Boxing Day, Sunday and Monday, and then we're back open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, possibly. <laughs> And then um, uh, closed again Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
Monday because we don't open on Mondays. And then it, I think from the 4th, it's all, well, from the 5th, from the 5th, it's all back to normal opening hours, possibly dependent on, dependent on variants that are out of my control, such as tears. Um, but actually, if, if it depends on Boris's announcement today or Matt Hancock's announcement today, there might, there may well be tears before bedtime. We can't make decisions. We can't. We can't. I think leaving leaving anything to the common sense of the British population is never never good. You only have to look at that vote of Boaty McBoatface to have realised that um, we should never be allowed to make any decisions ourselves because we always go for the daft option. Look at how many times the in 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 um, Strictly the joke the joke person gets through to the finals. Um, the one that can't dance and because we like an underdog. Hello, Christine. Nice to see you. We love an underdog, don't we? Um, I think um, happy Christmas to you. Yeah, never, never trust us. Yeah. Yeah, well Christine's just said that. She went for a walk as the rain went off, but she's come back absolutely soaked, bless her. Um It is soggy stuff. Yeah. You see, when when I watched the weather last night, I don't normally have the telly on, but it actually looked like we'd miss a good chunk of it. How wrong was that? I can't, but I can't tell where we are in the map. I'm rubbish at geography. I really haven't got a clue. I'm doing more little wiggles and dots at the end. Yes, yes. Yeah, half, half soaked and don't know what you're doing. So for the finer branches, I'm just doing so little bouncy and wiggly dabs and they're a little bit paler because they're thinner. I bet you've finished, have you, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> It is cup of tea time. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Um, I'm leaving the uh, the main sunny area for a little minute. Who's saying leaving on a jet plane? Don't know when I'll be back again. I bet Facebook, the Facebook students will be on that. Liz or Sue straight away. Who wrote? Who wrote? Who sang? I'm leaving on a jet plane. To save me, uh, to save me, uh, getting my Google. Leaving on a jet plane. Don't know. I'm going to Google. Facebook's too slow. Ah, right, so, Leaving on Jet Plane, written by John Denver, recorded by Peter, Paul and Mary. Yes, he has sang it as well. He wrote it and sang it. Oh, Annie's song was one of my mum's favourites. So that's you fill up my senses like a night in the forest, isn't it? Is that that's the one? Yeah, my mum loved that song. Ah, 
Oh, yes. Wichita lineman is still on the line. That's the one in ten. Right, so I've got to, I've left the circle. I've got branches gapped. So where the glow is, I've got nothing going on. Liz, you get a gold star for that. Liz came up with John Denver before I even Googled it. And, oh gosh, you're all on it. Peter, Paul and Mary. John Denver, John Denver, John Denver, John Denver. Sue and I run like a car bonnet. I didn't look because Facebook froze. You're all on it. Well done, everybody. Gold star to you all. I... I Leaving where the sun is, yeah, for now. And then if you want to just stop to get your drinks. Wow. James Taylor. Yeah. I like I like um I like a bit of relaxing voice. Relaxing vocals, I think. I mean I there are times I enjoy my heavy metal, but more often than not at the moment I'm 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 more favouring <laughs> soft. There is, there is. Right, I'm going to go pop the kettle on in a second. I'm fiddling, but I've left that area. I know, Sue, I'm, I am of little faith. I should have just trusted that you were on it really fast, typing away frantically like a Pitman typist. Right, be back in a sec. I'll pop the kettle on.
can sharpen my pencil before I can really try. Oh, I do love that sharpener. Well, there's eight of you now. Where did you all sneak up from? No, it's impossible in the silhouette, really. In a normal tree, you'd be able to tell which branch was in front and behind. But you could you could just make it up in the sense that if you wanted to make a branch look like it was behind, you'd just make it um, softer with less pressure. Yeah, you, you, you need to sort of, as you're developing your tree, you'll find that you, you want, obviously, where each branch attaches to the main trunk or to another branch, it's got to, it's got to feel like it won't just snip and snap in the breeze. just quickly dipped in to Twitter because that's a good source of all news and what it's saying is somebody's just said this an hour ago actually here's the latest I'm hearing on tier 4 announcements still to be finalized restrictions will come into effect on the 26th or 27th Boxing Day most likely Essex, Sussex, Surrey, Oxfordshire and Hampshire all look like they're going into tier 4 there's also talk about Suffolk. So potentially we'll jump from a tier two to a tier four. It doesn't surprise me, not 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 the rate that um the it, not I try not to be very COVID y in these classes, but obviously it's uh, it, nothing's happening today or tomorrow, so everything's fine. Everything's as it should be for the next couple of days. But Matt Hancock is currently actually doing the the live now um from number 10 so it's uh, i'll i'll catch up on it later yeah i'm having chicken liz i've made sure i've got some chicken coming tomorrow um just chicken i'm not i don't eat a lot of meat actually but i do um i'm having chicken instead of turkey it's a bird with feathers in it so that's fine um and i'm making sure i've got sprouts with this FODMAP thing, I can eat lots of meat um, and stuff. So, yeah, it's all it's all fine. I'm not too worried by anything. I just want everybody to be safe. Right, in the middle where your son is, I've got a big chunky branch coming through. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit paler through the glow... And then almost a thin line through the sun. And I'm going to do that for all lines. But so really thin lines if they're thin branches they won't show up in the um in the sunshine itself they might show up in the um 
in the outer glow but not in the main sunlight. What's it been announced? Tier 4 from Boxing Day for Oxfordshire. Oh, I ought to go and let the cafe know. We're back in one second.
Honestly. I'm working with a bunch of um, conspiracy theorists in this building. Good grief. You know, I think I think they're gonna we're gonna run out of tinfoil soon in Banbury for all of their ads. Yeah, but people say it's not real. You've opened a bar of galaxy. I like a galaxy occasionally. Well, yeah. It's all inflated, but I don't. I don't know in whose interest it is to do that. It makes no viable financial sense. I, it makes no sense to me. I mean, I'm not. I'm not into anything really, and I. I don't post stuff about it, and I don't. I don't know enough about it, so I know. I know enough to keep, you know, the majority of my opinion to myself. However. I, th I think it's only respectful, wh whatever you believe, to respect enough of other people's lives and what they believe. If if they if somebody if you say say you don't believe that that this virus is real or bad, don't put your opinion off as fact to make somebody who does feel it, who is scared by it, to feel like they're being really stupid or or what have you, because it's valid. But you know, I I don't use YouTube as my as my source of news. Um, no. Oh yes, yes, with your allergies, of course. Well, exactly. I, I don't know why. I don't, apparently, it's to keep us all under control and scared, so we're compliant. But I, I don't, I don't see why a government, uh, every single country in the world, would make up something to make everybody. I just don't, I don't see how that can be. And I shouldn't be about politics, and I shouldn't be about conspiracy theories. But I just, I just feel that the conspiracy theorists are given too much of a vocal platform. And um, and it's it's spread beyond because if you look at every country in the world that is having uh, in exponential growth of this virus, it's where there is the highest amount of conspiracy theorists and people think that everything's fine. Um, you know, if you look at New Zealand and Australia, everybody that did as they were asked, um, you know, it's gone down. And unfortunately, um, 
where you've got people who don't think you know masks are uh, masks are useful also claim that masks stop their oxygen so you know is it is it does it either not let your oxygen through or does it not let a, a virus through either way you know you've got to make your mind up because you can only do one or the other and, and all of this kind of things um i i No, I just I just find it really frustrating, um, and I've 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 bit my tongue now for nine months, um, and um, I, I snapped just now downstairs, which is very unlike me. But I I just got so jaded by the the constancy of the it's not real. I don't care. I'll do what I want. I do this, and and I and I'm absolutely fed up of it all now from people. So it's sort of you know it's been a really tough year as it is you don't really need other people just to you know obviously everybody's got a, a right to to believe what they want um and feel what they want which is fine but when when it's passed off as fact that's where i have to draw the line a little Yeah. Oh no. I've, I, this is my HB. I'm just doing two distant. I'm not doing all the distant trees. I'm just doing two or three. Well, they're so pale that they just only the trunks are standing out a little bit against the background. If by any chance you have done the branches across the sun too dark, you can always dab it off a little bit and soften it with them. I'm going to put three background trees in just so it's even. I'm going to put two closer together. I'm just sort of cheating a little. In the placing of these background trees. Just so, oh, I've made them two look, oh, they look too similar. I need to stick another branch there. I'd, I'd done exactly the same Y shape in exactly the same place, which is so frustrating because I thought doing them separately, even though they're together, no, the, my brain decided to do exactly the same one in exactly the same way. Yeah, you could spend you could spend till next Christmas putting branches on here. 
but um, I, it, you get to a point where you can only put so many on and then you'll end up losing the whole sky. So as it's half three, I think, I don't even know, I don't, I don't think I want to put the tree branches on the right hand side that are just coming off the edge. So this, I think, I think, I think we're jumping up to tier four because of us bordering the other, the previous tier four that clearly hasn't been working because of the. I think if 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 the new strain has been spreading from the the southeast up, um, it stands to reason, I suppose, that Oxford would be the next place, and then next stop would be Birmingham, wouldn't it? I guess. Um, you know, with all the major cities. So if they can, if they can try and stop it happening here, we're kind of like the front line then, aren't we? Of it, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of using my HB just where this tree is to create an extra, an extra lumpy boundary. So I'm doing a wiggly line from the bottom. So it almost looks like a root, but I don't want it to be a root. got the shadows to come in now well this is it what will make it look like snow is the fact that we'll try not to touch the paper in that there shouldn't be too much white uh, there should we want to leave as much white space as possible but also we're on the edge 
of a slope looking up at the top of a hill so the shadows will obviously curve downward slightly but also will change depending on the, the mounds of snow because shadows follow the contours of a um, object so if there's an extra lump it will sort of follow the shape um, now I think I'm going to use my um, torch along because I think it's I think it's dirty enough now what's interesting about this one because the the sun is quite low the shadow doesn't seem to really get wider um, just shortens if you look at the length of the shadow of the trunk because of the way we're looking at it we've got we've got a bit of foreshortening happening really in that we've got a shorter trunk if we were to the side of it this this shadow would look a lot longer and then this branch now, the, the really, really good bit about this is that your shadow will almost certainly not represent the tree that it's a shadow of. What are you on the edge of, Sue? Of glory? That's Lady Gaga, isn't it? Gonna run out of smudgy stick colour, I think. If I rub my tree a little bit and soften that, that'll pick up a little bit more graphite on there. And then there's a little bit of a lump that comes out there, and then a really funny. Oh, I've just made a. I've got a, a nick in my um, tortillon. And it's just caused a streak. But it doesn't really. The Edge of Reason, Bridget Jones. Mm. Back in a sec. Don't worry, that's fine. No. Yes, you can. Are you are you still travelling up or So do you want me to email you about it? So if you send me an email with how much you want and what have you, then I can I can do it for you. Alright. No problem. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Right now I need to go and do a bumpy bit. See, that's quite a big cluster of branches there. Then it goes a bit thinner. But this one, it's sort of... I'm not thinking about the footprints and stuff yet. I just want to try and get the shadow in because it's the footprints and bits that will make it look more like snow. But the advantage is our brain will kind of make it feel more snowy 
because we haven't got a colour on the paper. We've got white paper. you can see how some of the, the finer branches are actually much, much paler. So the big, the bigger, thicker branches are what is um, sort of like really stopping the light. The thinner branches are the really wispy ones that you can sort of see coming down. It's, it's quite a bit of a mishmash of lines. And it honestly doesn't matter which way round you do it. So you don't necessarily have to make it attached to a certain branch because we don't actually know which branch it comes from. See, that one's a little bit thicker there. No, that one, yeah, that one is a bit thicker there. Another that's thicker. Okay, let me have a look on the screen. See, that's sort of the right shape. Yes, I mean you could make it a bit darker. I know it's quite hard for you to do a smudge stick. I like your glow of the sun actually. That's really nice. Mine looks more like moonlight. Yours looks like yours looks like the sun. I like that. Yeah, you're on. You're definitely on the right. You're definitely on the right path for that. That's lovely. Nice shape of a tree as well. Yeah, definitely working. No, I am here. I am here. I'm just trying to work out that. Well, you see, I I don't know if I've got enough. I don't know if I've got enough branches. I I feel this area is a bit branchless, but I think it's because I haven't put enough of a wispy branch that's in that space. Um, that's going across. So I might have to put that in. Yeah, in the shadow area, I don't, the, the upper bit I'm fine with. It's the it's the shadow. I don't I don't want to put too much on because, as we've said, we've got some footprints and things to put on, and we've got um. Yeah, but I'm I'm also having to think about balance of color and tone, and all of that kind of stuff, um. And cheat to balance the shapes out. You know, if there's like big gaps I might have to tweak it a bit
things they can with them. Uh, so let me see if I can do softer. Maybe oh, I'm losing the feel of a slope now. How is it going, Sue and Dee and Liz and Rob and all of you on Facebook? How's it looking? Yeah, the thin branches, yeah. I did put them in, but they weren't showing up. And I think that was the issue, um, that they weren't, they weren't showing up at all on my screen. And it, it, it didn't look right in terms of balance. I think that's slightly better. So I want to, I might use my tortillon to indicate, I like the footprints going across. What I might do is tweak that. Do you know, Sue, I was thinking the same, because Rosemary was just showing me her, her, her lovely drawing on, on Discord. And hers looks like the sun, whereas mine feels a bit more moony. Um, no, I totally know what you mean. But I might tweak the footprints so they're coming across and I might curve them around. I think they do curve in the photograph, but they're off the page. I might curve them around so it sort of like meets up to the tree a little bit. Um, I can't tell if it's footprints and a sledge or a sledge or just somebody that's been dragging their feet. But I'm going to turn them into footprints. So I'm going to do some little close to lines. I'm using the smudgy stick for now and obviously I'm going to make them a little bit bigger and darker as we get more towards the front. But there's something else we can do to because at the moment the footprints and the shadows are identical in that they're just a grey mark on the paper. What will change that? Um, you know, you can add um, sort of dimples and lines in the snow with this with the tortillon. But what will make the um, paper stump? No, the footprints look more um, deeper what have you been watching Sue to think about all of this crime work um, there's our light source isn't it we've actually got our light source in the picture so that means that some of these footprints will be slightly darker on the upper side And maybe a few little lines. So it will be feel a little bit more like it's indented rather than a shadow because the shadow is skimming over the top isn't it whereas the footprints are sunken in and shaded And 
I'm just doing a few little sort of little squiggles and dots around the footprint so it feels like this because you know you get the snow that picks up on the top of your wellies or you know uh, you get little lumps and balls and bits I don't know what other numbers I've worn off. I think this is a dark one. I think it might be a 5B I've got here. And then I might do just a few slightly darker dimples. There, I mean, there are more footprints and stuff in here, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I just definitely want the darker side to be on the upper side of each footprint. So it feels like it's sunken, whereas with the snow shadow, I don't want it to feel like it's sunken. I might do a few. Now, technically, these background trees will have a bit of shadow, but because we've created a little boundary, we should be all right to do some little short... areas of shadow but they won't come in front of this tree to start confusing everything all the time Bigger, I don't know. I think it looks a little because I've made it darker, it looks more like it's sunken in the snow rather than stuck onto it. It's always difficult with stuff like this. You don't want to do too much. I might do a tiny little bush just on that line. I know it's difficult with the concentration if people are texting me, isn't it? I want to enjoy the last class of the year, but then there's a lot happening. Something like now my tree looks too perfect. Not not I'm not I don't mean in a in a boastful way, but my branches are all perfectly in in 
line. I'm going to have to bring a branch out now. Having to branch out. Yeah, to make it more random. I've, I've, I don't know how, but I've curved all of these branches and kept them all perfectly in, in line. So let me bring a few more out. Yeah, I th I think it sometimes you need to rough it up a bit and and add a bit of extra dimples and lines because if you look how many uh, snow unless it's like four foot deep it it's not going to cover all of the the slightly higher grass or the the rougher grass and the you know the longer grass so it's 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 going to undulate so you want a few bits of marks in there and hopefully it won't look too much like more footprints but if it does look like footprints then that, that there was nothing wrong with that to be honest I don't think I can do any more to this without it looking awful. think now I don't know if I need to just go slightly with my smudgy stick over the background line because it was it's not it's not standing out I should probably use a pencil instead of the smudgy stick but I didn't want it harsh But it could be that there's sort of like a hilly thing. Just so it stands out from the horizon line. Because my sky and my horizon line were a very similar tone. And there wasn't enough... I don't think there was enough um, variation in it. Yeah, I think I could call that a quit. So. The next drawing class is on ooh, the 6th of January and it's Chester Roman Walls in the Mist at Dusk. So it's going to be quite a dark picture. Um, so you will definitely, you know, you've got you've got from now until the 6th of January to uh, to shave a pencil to get some graphite powder um, and see how you get on. But yeah, so Liz, the first page that you did where you split your graphite powder on, 
will be perfect for that class. So um, obviously we are open tomorrow um, until about three ish. I'll, I'll see how it goes. If it's really if it's really quiet, then um, I uh, I'll probably shut a bit earlier and then head home. And then obviously um, with shut Christmas Day and Boxing Day and the Sunday and Monday, then we will be open for click and collect um, until we're told otherwise, because that's what we can do in tier four. So uh, we're sort of open for tier four. Um, I may I may view and just think, is it worth opening um, for those three days as click and collect? If it, I might just come in um, if I get any orders. If not, I'll just stop at home. Um, so happy Christmas, everybody. I, I know it's not the Christmas that any of you. Hello. Yes. All right. Hang on. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Where is the ring? Let me go on the right screen. Oh, I love that. Nothing else. Darken your horizon line a little bit more. Just a little bit more. But that's lovely. Really like it. I really like it. Thank you, and to you too. I mean, I know it's not what any of us wanted, but you know, at least we're all. We're all still here and we're all together and you'll, I'll still be annoying you. I know I don't know how you'll cope for two weeks without me, Liz. I'm sure you'll manage, but you can, you can, you can watch all these videos on, um, on, on replay. But don't forget, if you really are missing my voice, if you, if you tune into the shop's Facebook page on January the 2nd at 11 o'clock, you'll see me do a, a pencil for beginners demonstration. Um, so you can catch up then and then we're back again on the on the f on the 4th of January with the classes anyway we're definitely back in some form um, whether the, sh the shop won't be open I'm almost certain but I'll be teaching from here um, as I have been um, regardless as long as I am well that is what is happening I will take a photograph of this and I will post it um, under the reference as as i always do so yeah thank you so much for your support this year i know it's been a crazy year and um, we've all had to adapt in so many ways go digital learn how to use facebook more and find out actually how to post a photograph or how to post a comment or even how to even set up a facebook account so i think you've all done really well and the standard of artwork despite us being in the middle of a pandemic has been absolutely phenomenal so You've done really well, and uh, you deserve a couple of weeks off from me, I think, at least. Um, so thank you so much for all your support and, and, and your help, and uh, and for just for being you, and, and the laughs we've had during these lessons. It's been, a, it's been a tonic for me, as much as it has been for you. So um, thank you so much. Take care, and have a really good Christmas. And, um, oh, it's a pleasure. It is a pleasure. And I'll see you all in the new year. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.